Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to proceed here with a a quick reading which is called a pick a question, a yes or no, and a pick a deck and I'll give you your answer. So this is a really uh, quick reading. I have five different piles. For sure this is a general so it's not going to, you know, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if you do have any questions you would like to have answered you can always reach me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, also if you enjoy my readings and you enjoy my channel please do subscribe. Show me your love. So please subscribe, like, share and uh, with no further ado let's begin. So I have five different piles. As I said, this is a general. It's a yes or no. So make sure that you pick a question. I want you to look at the five piles. This is pile one. I have pile two, pile three, pile four is down here, and pile five. I want you to take a moment. I want you to look at the five piles, and I want you to think of a question. It has to be a question that finishes, that's going to have an answer of a yes or a no. And I'm going to try and give you your answer here with the messages from the tarot and finishing it off with a little oracle card. So uh, take a moment, pick your, uh, pick your deck, whichever one, you know, called you most. And um, pick your question and we're going to begin. So. Hopefully you have your questions now. It finishes with a yes or a no. We're going to begin with pile number one, which is right here. Okay, I'm going to move the other piles right over here. And here we go. So we have the Empress. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of uh, Coins, and we have Here and Now. Okay, let me move this up like this so you can see better. And voila. Okay, so let's begin here. Um, let's begin with the Empress. The Empress here is all about abundance, fertility, uh, pleasure, beauty, happiness. Everything has its own season. If you're looking for um, to become pregnant or you want to have children or this is this is the card. This is the right card. This is saying yes. Um, over here, three of cups. It's three generations. They're meeting. There's plentiful. There's, you know, everything they need is there. There's happiness. This is again is a yes. Over here with the ten of cups and the ten of cups over here is you know all about moving towards your goals so this again is a yes and we're following it up over here with our coins and our queen of coins or discs in this case is all about um you know you're giving abund abundantly and all of life's um, sweetnesses are around you. It's generous, it's motherly, it's a resource for wealth. Um, so, you know, may it be money wise? Yes. May it be emotional? Yes. Uh, you know, these three here are emotional. This one is money wise. So, and we have here and now. So, this is all about living in the here and now and what is going on. So, pile number one, your answer is yes. We're going to move forward to pile number two. Pile number two, we have here the nine of cups. We have the hermit. We have over here the uh, strength card. We have the ten of swords and we have a time to go. So, um, here we're looking at the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is all about uh, upsetting surprises, wishes is, wishes that are denied. This is um, unfulfilled, wishes that are unfulfilled. Um, following with the Hermit, the Hermit is self-isolating, needing to be by itself, plans not going through, strength, we need strength, we went through a difficult period, um, this is about revelations of strength and hard times, and here we are with the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is all about being victim of our femininity, being who we are, we're victim to this, um, this is... Um, 
This is a card that is ruined and it's time to cut your losses with this card. Uh, this is, you know, what has been done is done and that's leaving us in a dark place for a certain time and we need to get out of that place. So they're saying again with the Oracle card, time to go. So uh, pile number two, your question, the answer is no. I'm going to follow up with pile number three. Pile number three, we have the tower, we have the nine of wands, we have the seven of discs, we have the five of swords, and we have a card called mending. So tower being struck, something eternally has gone wrong, terribly wrong, not necessarily on the outside, but in the inside of this towel that you've built for yourself. This is not good. Um, the nine of wands, same thing. Um, the nine of wands is feeling unable to face a situation it's lacking the strength strength to take a stand um so this is once again a very difficult card card uh, we have here the seven of discs this is taking your time to create something that you're going to be proud of but it's going to take a certain amount of time so here you're more in between the yes and a no but right now it's a no but it's going to move towards uh, perhaps a yes depending on the time that you're going to put into this work because this is this is work related this is money and uh, we have here with a five of swords a five of swords is all about um, ethics so are you being ethical are you not being ethical this is a cutting uh, sword here this is a situation that is not winnable this is what this card represents um, and we're finishing it off with the card that we need to mend you need to mend these situations to move on to get to a yes so pile number three the answer to your question is a no moving on to pile number four pile number four we have the star we have the page of cups and over here we have uh, there you go we have the cups and okay so uh, so we have here I'm sorry we have the star we have the page of cups over here we have temperance and we have over here a knight of cups so all about emotions um, what I can see here is you know you're trying to um, get your emotions straight you're trying to balance things out you're trying to make things better you're trying to do some introspections over here with the page of cups this is beginnings um, this is um, new opportunities that are around you this is um this is sensitive this is um this is news this is message this is invitation these are beginnings um this is you know this is good this is good beginnings uh, over here with our temperance card the temperance is dreams we're making ourselves we're feeling good we're in our dreams we're dreaming of things that we want to have dreaming of things we would like to have and you know we must begin with a dream to have a wish to make it concrete after um, and then after that we have over here our knight of cups and our knight of cups over here is all about emotional learning so we're learning throughout this process but it's not a negative it's a very positive and we're finishing it off here with the thinker so it, it is it's very thoughtful these are all thoughtful cards between the dreams the beginnings the thinking the the balancing the introspection so card uh, deck number four your answer is yes and we're going to finish it up over here with deck number five deck number five we have over here wait I'll just move this over here we have the four of cups uh, followed by the seven of pentacles we have the tower and we have the hermit followed with the fates uh, so you know over here it's just being mixed up in our emotions not being able to find ourselves here something has gone terribly wrong the plans we had are not falling through it's not working and we do not believe it's going to go through over here with the tower the tower we've built for ourselves has been destructed the walls have fallen down there has been some Something that has obstructed it and the hermit is self-isolation it's hiding it's hiding from our fears it's trying to do some introspection but we need to be by ourselves so you know the card here is telling us to follow our fates right here so 
you know, deck number five, the answer to your question is no. I hope that you um, enjoyed this reading. And I hope that it brought you a little bit of clarity to your questions. I remind you this is a general um, pick a deck. If you would like to have some um, personal questions answered, you can reach me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. It will be my pleasure to send you uh, information on how to book for a private reading. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before leaving. And uh, we'll see each other if you are subscribed. We'll see each other for my um, daily snapshot tomorrow. And if you're not, please do subscribe and you'll get it. So have a great day. Thank you so much for being there.